How dare you try to be comfortable? <laughs> this, is, this is work. <laughs> What do you think? You always look okay. slouchy. You always look slouchy. Can you sit up? What, are you going to pick on me or what? <laughs> That's my job. No kidding. And you're a professional. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Happy Coffee in the Van with Rob and Jan Day. Yeah. Here we go again. So. So. What's new? Hope you guys are keeping well. Things are still crazy out there. We're doing the best we can and trying to enjoy where we can go and how we can go there and all that kind of stuff. So this week we want to bring up, you've probably seen, hopefully you've seen our video that we just put out on Emerald Lake, Rogers Pass, Yoho National Park, which is all amazingly beautiful. Didn't get as much video footage there as we would have liked to have gotten, but so much of it was closed. It was rainy. It was cloudy. Very hard to get any really good photos and videos along the way, but we did our best. Um, but the funniest part, well, funny in hindsight, but not funny initially, was... Oh, it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> so we were going through... We've been through Kamloops before. Cam loops before. Cam loops before. Don't know why I can't say that. I need more coffee. We've been through cam loops before. And we don't mind coop cam loops, but we don't love it. And to go on the highway, because we were heading up towards Prince George, so more north, uh, across Highway 1 West, through Golden, Revelstoke, that area, Salmon Arm, and then we're going to head up north towards Prince George. So it, to go through the main highway, you go all the way into Kamloops and then back up. And so you kind of, kind of go almost out of your way to go back up north again. So I looked on the map and it showed a faster route. I went, oh, faster route. We'll take this one. So I thought it would be a nice shortcut. So just past Salmon Arm in that area, we went onto this Forest Service Road. I think it's Adams Lake is what it was called. Adams Lake Forest Service Road, something like that. Ooh, I don't we'll, know. we'll show a picture over here. So we get onto it. We're going, we're going down this road, going down this road, and all of a sudden it's I didn't know it was a forest service road. I didn't think like Google Maps or those kind of map services would give you something that wasn't a proper road. So I went what I thought was going to be a shorter route. It was shorter, but technically probably took longer than if we'd just gone the regular highway. We, we went down the road. It was okay at first. Started climbing, climbing. And then we get to this logging area. And then it shows us kind of a dead end. Except for this dirt road. This dirt, narrow, pothole laden oh, come road. On, come on, come on. Get to the screaming part. <laughs> so we, we pull on. I said, oh, this must it be it incredible. here. It was incredible. I said, this must be it here. Because I'm like, oh, it, it says to go here. But it can't be because it's not a road. Well... It was the road and we get on there and within like two seconds it's bump, bang, huge potholes. And Rob's like, how long is this road? And I look 18 kilometers, 18 kilometers of narrow, windy, steep, gravelly, dirt, mud, potholed, no edge, no railing, no anything on the side of this cliff road, highway or road. No, not so much mud that we met a a b train tanker it's a it's a forest service road uh, for a, a pulp company and when that tanker went by us just like you see in say southern ontario or whatever where you have a lot of snow on the road and the slush is spraying up about a foot and a half that's what the mud was like going over this road it was incredible and when she says hi at the very top I knew it was going to be good because it narrowed down to one lane. Because when you were at the top, they didn't have room for two lanes. It was, I want to do it again. <laughs> I'm it never was, doing that oh, road again. Oh, if, we do, if he does it again, I'm not going oh, with him. It was stunning. So the sad part is we hardly got any pictures, just a couple that we'll show you here. Yeah. But we didn't get much footage because he goes, oh, you want to pull over and get a picture? I'm like, no, no. 
So <laughs> we, we'll have to try and find out what the elevation is at the top on Google Map. But uh, it was impressive. Like when you look down at the lake, there was roads down on the other side of the lake. You couldn't see the vehicles. You were up that high. <laughs> it was there wasn't roads down there. It was just a drop off water. You couldn't see. So he's trying to avoid potholes. He's moving back and forth in the van, trying to avoid, avoid potholes. And as he's doing this, I'm like, no, because all he had to do is avoid a little bit more to the right. And he's off the edge of the cliff. Like there was no, there is no, any, there's nothing. The edge of the road was the edge of the road. The edge of the road yeah. was the edge of the land. There was nothing beyond that. You would just collapse down this huge drop off. Yeah. And it was, and then people like some of the trucks passed as going the other way. Yeah. It was terrifying. Yeah. 18 kilometers of nail biting. And I'm not a, I'm not a nervous driver. I've driven through every major city. I've driven through New York city. I've driven through, um, you know, Rogers pass. I've yeah. driven through all these kind of areas that are, that are more dangerous, larger cities, Everywhere. And that was, uh, and this was Sushwap, Sushwap Lake? It was that around that see? Salmon Arm, Sushwap Lake, that yeah. just passed all of that. And yes, yeah. it was looking down into that. Yeah. Well, it's Adams Lake it was looking over, oh, okay. I believe, but well, well, east, yeah. east of Kamloops. And then you go from one extreme to the other when you get down on the other side. It's scary. All of a sudden we're on like brand new asphalt. Oh, yeah. And we were in a valley that I, I, I was waiting for Julie Andrews to be singing the Sound of Silence uh Sound of music, just sound of silence. Oh yeah, that's right. There was no silence. There was all the screaming from you. That's right. And there was no music either. Sound of silence. Yeah, okay. Julie Andrews doesn't sing sound of silence on the soul. I don't think so. Yeah. No, okay. Uh, okay. But anyway, it was just all fields of green and mountains. And it was Yeah. Stunning. It looked like you were in like a European oh, yeah, kind of like, valley or something yeah, like think, Switzerland you think you're or something. It was really yeah. beautiful. And then it was like all these yeah. signs watch for cows for so many kilometers. And yeah. it was gorgeous. Yeah, that was absolutely beautiful. And then it got dark and we kind of couldn't see anything after that. That's why we go go back in the sunlight. <sighs> I'm not going back to that four well, series I am. road. I am. It's, it was beautiful. It was oh beautiful. my gosh. Yeah. So we got very few pictures. I got a little picture of Rob being Sasquatch. He's trying to get a view and a picture from where he was. And he tried yeah. to get up. A little higher and climb up there and it it, it didn't really work that well yeah, but it, it was it oh. was an, uh yeah the side of where the road was and uh i tried to get up uh on the opposite side there and uh it, it was so muddy and a consistently like the, or cons the consistency uh, that i was walking on was almost like a pudding it was just sliding over underneath yeah. the I, I don't know how they hung that road and even the road was like that yeah. on the edges. So there'd be edges where it looked finished and other parts where it had, had, had actually eroded Washed away. And it was out, yeah. that's why I was terrified every time he he would try to avoid a pothole so he didn't damage the vehicle, we could have been rolling down the hill. So or the cliff. Like it was it was scary. Oh yeah, you go over yeah. the edge there and they wouldn't even know you're gone. No, because it was all because no. it was a, a steep drop, but then no. there's a lot of um tree it was all treed in that yeah. too, so you wouldn't have known. No, you wouldn't have no one would have found you. Yeah. Scary. Oh, yeah. and there was no service, I don't think, either. Yeah, no. no. Civil service. It was scary. Definitely worth a second look. No, no, not. <laughs> <laughs> not. Looks like I'm making that trip alone. <laughs> not. <laughs> and, uh, and then if you've watched now, yeah. we've got out your van build now on the lights and all that kind of thing. That one's a fun one to watch, too, because yeah. his brother did a lot of things that we put up disclaimers because... Yeah, he was don't, the... Don't uh, try this at home, folks, is, is what's going on with that video, because... I yeah, did an excellent oh job, gosh. but, uh, yeah, the, uh, 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 there was a lot of knowledge and skill involved that, uh, you know, has taken him a while, and, mm -hmm. uh, and even for himself, like, uh, uh, there was even things that, for all his experience, and, and he's got a job that requires us all the time, mm -hmm. uh, we even had a, a couple of resources, uh, Class A mechanics, uh, electrical engineers, and, uh, we even had one guy that was uh, in the States that we could call who was a friend uh, that uh, was kind of, uh, you know, not telling us what to do. But if we had any questions, uh, we knew he was there. And, uh, you know, uh, my brother was talking to him uh, about different things at different times. And uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, that's what uh, that one was about. Well, and actually, it's funny because when you're editing the video, I'm like learning things as we go along of things he did taking the van apart that I had no clue of because I wasn't oh, yeah. there when he started it and seeing some of the things is probably a good idea I wasn't there yeah. because it's terrifying to see how much they took the van apart and yeah. 
disassembled yep. it and put it back together is like whoa oh yeah we had the passenger seat oh. out we had the headliner out we had the headlights out we had half the of radio. the dash out yeah everything all the, oh yeah uh, yeah we really had to uh, get into it and uh i don't know how people afford to do some of these systems uh to pay for it because uh i don't know what kind of job they would do because i know the kind we did and it took a while uh mm -hmm. and this was the most of it was built or uh, based around uh putting in a uh a four camera system for uh, uh, security and uh, turning and uh, but anyway it, it's in that video and uh, a cams lead and it records on a 72 hour loop and uh, on an SD card and uh, so it's accessible to you uh, if you need it for downloads if something happens like you go off the side of a mountain <laughs> anyway never, never again, again never again yeah oh she was never. calling me words that i just oh i was i was yeah. like i was counting down the kilometers like 17 left 16 left 15 left it's, i'm i'm not and i'm not a nervous driver ask like what what am i for a driver am i a nervous driver i'm no, a, i'm an aggressive no. i'm an i'm a assert, assertive driver that's one thing you always thought yeah. was attractive about me he said was that i'm assertive i'm not a nervous driver whatsoever i like i say i've driven under every I've driven on black yeah, ice. I've driven driving, yeah. highway so much driving. Yeah. I've driven in terrible, terrible ways. Yeah, you probably, storms. well, yeah, you have done more driving than me uh, for your job. Uh, and so. this was, and I think too, because I was in the passenger side on the right, I could see where the road was gone and he was like close to it. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> no, yep. it, was, it was scary. One, one false move and that would be the end of us. Yeah, that's right. So no, no, we're not doing that one again. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, check it out check out the road and the elevation because you 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 could see the potential like uh for doing photography and that i'd love to go back and check it out so anyway it's on the to-do list no to don't it's on to the don't, to, to don't, don't list. list to don't okay okay so <laughs> and, what else and the other thing we're talking about today is our paper towel holder yeah. so it's something that was um so we've had a couple people ask about or comment on in our as well uh on our our comments <laughs> that was very, very well that, was, that was pretty slick yeah <laughs> take yeah. two uh so our paper towel holder uh yeah people have asked about it and uh we we didn't mention it in our van tour video because we'd taken a lot of different portions of the video uh it was already kind of long so we kind of cut that part out of it we did feature it but then it got cut onto the editing room floor so uh we are going to show a little video of it right now uh and kind of show you uh why we put it where we did and what we did with it the reason see originally we had an idea of putting it in uh and we've got the what's it called the perfect perfect tear perfect portion no. no perfect tear i think I it's called know. the perfect tear or something like that i didn't buy it um, i just installed it it's from canadian tire i think it's called a perfect tear so basically you can't you don't pull it and it doesn't it has like a tension so that when you go to tug it it doesn't yeah. roll with it it keeps the paper towels in place so you can tug exactly what you want to pull from the from the roll um and so it's um it, we were going to originally put it farther back against the back wall part and then realized duh after we put the screws in there had it mounted back there that we wouldn't be able to replace the paper towel holder oh they would have been able to it. put rolls of toilet paper on it. because there's not enough space <laughs> so you'll see <laughs> oh no not gonna work <laughs> so you'll see there would be a yeah, wouldn't but have been we had space. a really good workaround i'm glad i thought of this it was uh again it... my idea everything that's cool i shouldn't say that that's not fair a lot of the cool ideas are my ideas it's just a matter of trying to make them work but the way what we ended up doing was much better yeah. in the end yeah, so you're able to one-handed grab a paper towel it looks nice it's tucked away it's neat and it's really accessible and we really enjoy having them there so um it yeah. worked out yeah, well worked for good. us and so other people have said they're going to copy that idea which is great but i but i'll put a link of what it is yeah. in terms of the paper towel holder or mention it here yeah it, and, you uh, don't have to go looking for the paper towel it comes to you well, that's a little too far. It doesn't come to you. You know, <laughs> got paper towel. <laughs> <It doesn't> like... <laughs> I should have, we should have had it where somebody threw yeah, the threw paper towels oh, when yeah. I whistle. Boink. We'll have to cut to that and you'll have to throw them at me. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Okay. okay. No, not anyway, that. It, it, it's, <laughs> it, it's a neat way. I've never seen it done like this before. And uh, uh, yeah, it, it's cool. You'll see it. Mm -hmm. And it's right. What are you doing? Pointing. What? What are you pointing at? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, obviously. 
Yeah. <laughs> I think that's enough, Rob. Yeah, okay. All right, have a good day, eh? Yes. So you can just be like whistle and it's just gonna come at me? Yep. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> okay, well, you think we can just whistle and it's just gonna come at me? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, you think you're just gonna whistle, it's gonna come at me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Boy, you think I'm just gonna whistle, it's gonna come at me?